Much of it in the frame, so that's actually something that's very So we hope to provide simulation as sort of an equalizer. Okay, so up in the head, the production version is got a, a tactile sensor on the top, touch sensitive. Uh, here he's got infrared receiver and emitter so you can control video recorders, your television, etc. He's got a camera here. Uh, our production version has got a second camera. It's got four microphones in the head, as well as two speakers in the ears, strangely. Um, here he's got two sonars on the chest. He's got uh, an inertial sensor comprised of accelerometer and gyrometers. In all of his joints, he's got uh, sensors. Um, and he's got a couple of little bumpers down here and the four sensitive resistors under the feet. Talk a little bit about the head, USB based. Yeah, interestingly, there's communication which goes down from the, the head to the body. So, in theory, you can, uh, in development, you can just take off the head and uh, send USB straight down to the body. Uh, it's seen as a device and functions as such. Great. You want to see about having the move now? Or? So, I can move. We have a turn, wash maybe? Or? Um, I can try a little bit. So, we'll up to stick on it first. So, there we push him and he reacts. Now, that's, that's not keeping the center of mass still. Uh, that's uh, being friendly in a human kind of way. Okay, now I'm going to try something which may not work. So the, the two components of the runtime is CCR, which is the Commencing Collaboration Runtime, and there's DSS. And DSS is really the kind of distributed web services model that allows us to spread this stuff all out. DSS exposes its external interfaces to something called DSSP, which is an open promise published specification, allows anybody to plug their infrastructure into the core of our environment. So this you may want to cut there, because uh, unfortunately I broke his elbow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So he's not as bouncing as he should. Well, we're just going to that robot's that elbow, you just pulled me through hard. So the interface provides some of that somebody in person. Yeah. So if you hear it from, you know, whether it's AD or Kuka or others who have large investments, there's lots of companies who have that. So DSSP provides a way for them to plug that infrastructure into their environment without actually changing any of that legacy environment. Well, you do the same thing if you're doing Linux or Java or other implementations. You can use DSSP as a way to combine both worlds and potentially together. So, yeah, unfortunately, I broke his elbow there, so he wasn't balancing very well. Um, because there was, that was a predefined sequence. Um, anything that's defined with uh, central mass control would realize that something's out of place and keep his balance according. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wasn't well, actually, that was um, one of the things you were talking about yesterday. Is the fact that <laughs> um, there's been um, when there has been a bunch of interest. Uh,